For the past year, two men have set the standard for the way viral internet videos are made. Their friends and family know them as Phil and Josh. But you know them as the sons of Biff Tannen. From the time they shot their first movie at the age of eight, a gripping army drama called Dim Sun, they knew they had talent. I knew we had talent. Even though Dim Sum was extremely successful, they decided to follow their true passion, comedy. I mean, after Dim Sum, we knew we were on the level of Coppola, Spielberg, but gasps are easy. We were going for laughs. I struggled with what I was looking to do. I tried directing um, and hosting a crime stopper show, and I didn't know if we were ever going to reclaim the glory we had with our first film. Then, one night, when Phil was looking for some very strange pornography, he stumbled across some viral videos on a little site called YouTube. I was watching some really funny, well-done videos, and I thought, we can do this. He called Josh, who was also looking at porn, and told him his idea. I was like, yeah, totally. Let me call you after I masturbate. We got together, started spitballing some ideas. Before I knew it, it was 6 a.m., and we had five really solid sketches. <sighs> yeah, we stayed up till 6 a.m. just writing and laughing. We had a lot of code. Now, all the cousins needed was a name. <laughs> the name. Yeah, we went back and forth on this for a while. First we were trying maybe Catholic Jew, Shermer High School All-Stars. It was getting really late. Josh finally looked at me and said, why don't you make like a tree and get out of here. So when we looked at each other, <laughs> we just knew. And so the sons of Biff Tannen were born. Their first short, The Bet, was a nod to another Michael J. Fox classic, sports movie montages, and man-on-man -man sex. Our grandmother always used to say, the real money is in dick and fart jokes. From there, the hits just kept coming. Not only were they able to make you laugh, but they also made you think. Yeah, we make funny movies, that's a given, but I really want to put a message in there. I mean, gun crazy? It's obviously our take on stricter gun laws in this country. My roommate, the model, is really just an outcry to stop those sweatshops in Malaysia. And touch of dicks? That's obviously a protest to the war in Iraq. Phil got real preachy with some of this stuff. I just thought it was funny if people touched dicks. It did pave the way to our success, though. After these hits, and their world-famous spoof on Extremes More Than Words video, the two cousins from the small Massachusetts suburb were in the big time and it was all about to come crashing down. At first we handled it well. We got girlfriends, took it in stride. Yeah, I mean, things were going well. Then it got really crazy, really fast. Parties, women, drinking, drugs, Sudoku, all night knitting circles, strange Asian entourages. You name it, we had it. Needless to say, the girlfriends didn't last. And then things just got Stranger. I bought so many guns. Yeah, um, I became pretty hooked on uh, cough drops. It started with, you know, one or two in the morning. Before I knew it, I was sucking on those things all day. Uh, cough, cough drops, not, you know, penis. I'm just happy I got the help I needed. <sighs> I had a pretty serious beta fish fighting ring going on. It's only a matter of time before it got busted. But from all of this adversity has come salvation. All in all, I think this has made us better. And it's going to make what we do better. I just want to make people laugh. And hopefully get laid because of it. Two cousins who started out as child prodigies turned into internet megastars and then almost lost it all before finding redemption. The sons of Biff Tannen are back, and they are about to kick you in the dick with the funny. What are you looking at, butthead?